South Korean pop group Stray Kids has debuted at number one on the Billboard 200 albums chart with Adonir. When we first heard the news, it was like, what? Is, it, is this true? Yeah. Like, everyone was like, very stoked. We were kind of like, overwhelmed in a mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. We were just kind of a little bit shocked that, is this reality? Just the album title itself, it's Ordinary. And um, the songs inside, they're all very, very unique. And very, very odd if you think about it. I think that message itself, we're trying to reach out to their stays. They could just you know, take off the actual like face marks, take it off and just really just reveal who they really are. Like, you know, Maniac says. Maniac. The music video was pretty fun. I didn't yeah. fly, but um, yeah. I feel hurt because you guys feel hurt. I remember <laughs> Lena was like... <laughs> <laughs> Hi, members likes who likes hip-hop and who likes K-pop and who likes jazz mm -hmm. and that makes our music. The eight of us, we're all different. Our colors are all different. What our, what our preferences, what we like, it's all different. But then, you know, putting that all into one music, I think that just creates the color that Stray Kids is. God's Menu is one of our most important songs. I feel like we get a lot of, I guess, from like the movies we watch. Influences. And so yeah, that helps us to create more ideas for stays that can relate to our music. Stays also are the reason why we're coming up with so many big ideas, so. True. Yeah. I wouldn't say we're representing like the new generation. That's, that's a bit too big. It's too big for us. But um, what I can say is we are definitely trying to put on a good impression and trying to be as genuine as we can for the people who look up to us. We're just always excited yeah. for the shows, especially places where we haven't been. A lot of people say, you know, you know, Stray Kids' performances, you guys have like the craziest dance moves. How do you do that for three hours? Honestly, we were really surprised too. Um, but the fact that we're enjoying it, that's all that matters. I love tour so much. During this pandemic, this, this? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> These brothers, I bet they made 100 songs. Nah, 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 nah. that's a bit too much. Yeah. Not 100, that's, that's, that's 50. Yeah. Music. Uh, 50 is a yeah. bit too always much too. Yeah. They're making songs. During this tour, he made like three, just, uh, two songs uh, yeah. and I recorded some uh, four songs. Wow. He made a lot of tracks. Mm. I feel like it's the whole tour experience that really yeah. just makes us get inspired by yeah. a lot of different things. We've always had a goal ever since we debuted. It was to, you know, reach out to as many stray kids as possible. Hello, we are Stray Kids and you guys are watching Billboard News! Woo! It's been so long since we've done KCON LA. Um, though, just taking this chance, we're very grateful and we're very happy that we get to see our many stays. And for the stays in Seoul, they have something special in store for the end of their tour. You have a, like another concert in Seoul. Um, yes, we do. In September, and uh, might be a bit different. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've got, we've got some special stuff, and that's all I can say. <laughs>